It's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's one more time. Glad so many of you could show up. The numbers are amazing. <laughs> Thank God. This morning we start off in a continuance of a study we're doing in the book of Joshua. We're in the chapter 11 at this current time and dealing with the conquest of the chapter's name, Joshua. He has been handed the mouth, the reins, uh, to continue what his predecessor Moses had set out and Joshua was a warrior. He was a general in the highest degree. One would say the greatest general we've ever had. Looking at the war, the type of battles he fought and for who he fought them. Because if you look at it, he fought them for us. No, we weren't there and we were, didn't have privy knowledge of it. We weren't born, we weren't even thought of. But it was to the planting of a seed, or should I say the nurturing of a seed by way of a covenant, an inheritance that put him on this mission. Now, what do we know? What do we know about Joshua? What do we know about him? He was handed the mount. He was in control. He was a leader. He was in charge. A lot of people... I remember when I was young I, and I read about Joshua and I was told about him, you know, you knew the basic stuff, you know, the basic stuff about Joshua. He was, he was Moses' right hand man. Yes, ma'am. Joshua, uh, Joshua chapter 11, the northern conquest. Let me go back a little bit since you guys just came in. We're currently in chapter 11. Joshua just completed the conquest of the central and south lands from the destruction of Jericho and, and Ai and, and a number of other tribes and places. Joshua conquered all the lands, the mountains, the country, the south and the lowlands, all the wilderness and all the kings. He left none. He destroyed all that breathed. All that had breath, he destroyed. And going back once again, I, I remember as a kid, I, I, I read this and, and I knew the, 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 the servant part of Joshua, how he was uh, uh, Moses' right hand and he took over everything and, and it was his, his uh, job to, to take him to the promised land. But, but it wasn't until I got a little bit older and, and, and was in church directly that you, you, know, you start to get the meat and potatoes. Uh, of, of scripture and, and, and I realized what he did. He, he, was a, he was a general and his job was, was, was if you look at it across the board, it was, it was like, it, it looked like bloodthirsty slaughter because in the campaigns, he was told to, like I said, destroy all that breeze when he came into a town to wipe it out. And, 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 and and, and let nothing live. And, and as a kid, I looked at this, and a young man, even a young man, and I said, wow, wow. I thought like a lot of people did, well, this is the God, this is God of the Old Testament. He's fierce, he's, he's blowing fire and brimstone, and, 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 and it was like, like, like no leniency. But well, we have to look at the background. We have to look at the people, the purpose behind what, what Joshua was doing. Why was Joshua doing this? What was the purpose of his mission?
against one of his promises or what? <sighs> that's it. That's it. When we look at when we look at God's commands, God's laws, and when he tells us, like, whatever they may be, um, you know, thou shalt not lie, you know, thou shalt not kill. Whatever it is, uh, um, the, the Jews has constructed so many, you shouldn't walk so many paces on the Sabbath, this and that, you know, you can't help any animal, nothing on the Sabbath. When we look at the laws, the real laws, the bottom line wasn't, wasn't specifically the law itself. It was about obedience. Why, 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 why can't we walk? That's not the part, that's not your issue. Why, why did he tell them so? That's not your issue. The issue is God gave a command, and God wants obedience. That's the root of it all. So if anything if, if God asks you to do, that's why we can never say, uh, but but why? Though? Although in the Bible God has given. Uh, ample uh, um, 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 position for a person to ask that, and he would answer it without without being mad. But but that's not our job. See, God knows everything, past, present, future. He's omnipresent, so, omniscient. So would you say that I can't I can't uh, question God? No, no, it's not that you can't. But in order to find a reason, God gave you the reason. The reason is, I said so. Parents, parents, my son, oh, he's at an age now. He's at an age now. And look, 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 burn it down. But why? Put that over there. Let me tell you, but why? But why? So at times, I, I started to, to run off the list. Well, first of all, you put it over there so won't nobody step on it. So if nobody step on it, somebody can get it. And I catch myself. Because I said so. I'm in control. I, I run this ship. Now, when you get your play, when you order up, then you can run your ship. And trust me, you're going to say the same thing. Obedience. Obedience. Uh, why did Joshua do this thing? Obedience. What was the purpose of this mission? Like you say, to root out all the evil, all these tribes. And, and, and later on, we're going to discuss this because people look at this and they say, well, we, 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 we don't serve the God now that we serve a, a God of grace. Know, God of our gentility, you know, he 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 wants, you know, he 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 allows us some some areas, some some elbow room. We serve the same God. We serve the same God, but we have to look at the background of these people, these Canaanites. And and another thing, I get to that, I get to that later, the 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 title Canaanite because they got so many names in here and so many tribes and everything. And verse 1, it says, And it came to pass when Jabin, I'm going to read a portion of this, when Jabin, king of Hazor, had heard these things, that he sent to Jabab, king of Madon, to the king of Shemron, to the king of Ashap, to the kings who were from the north in the mountains, in the plains, south to Shemeroth, in the lowlands, and in the heights of Dor on the west, and in all these, these names, and our cities, they're they places, they're areas, and they serve a purpose because it looks like a lot of jargon and a lot of reading, and you will glass, glass over it, but if you start to read the text, you will understand why he's given this, this description. To the Canaanites in the east and the west, to the Amorites, to the Hittites, to the Parasites, to the Hivites, to the Shilites, Okay, I'm just making sure y'all listen. But that's all, all the lights out there. I'm gonna make sure y'all awake now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> and the and the Hivites below Hermon in the lands of Misphat, so that when they went out, they were they and all their armies with them, as many people as the sands that is on the seashore in multitude, with very many horses and chariots. And when all these kings had met together, they came and camped together at the waters of Moron to fight against Israel. But the Lord said to us, Joshua, do not be afraid because of them, for tomorrow, about this time, I will deliver all of them slain before Israel. You shall hamstring their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua and all the people of war 
with him came against them suddenly by the waters of Aram, and they attacked them, and the Lord de delivered them into the hands of Israel, who defeated them and chased them down to the greatest Shittim, to the brook Merisopah, to the valley of Misphat eastward. They attacked them until they left none of them remaining. Once again, once again, we, we, we get this picture of what he's doing. And, and, and like I say, you have this imagery, especially if you came up like I did, and you say, well, wow, what, kill them all. And, and everything that breathed, everything that breathed, that, that means whatever was in the camp, whatever was there, you know, he wanted them dead. The first one, it says, and it came to pass when Jabin, king of Hazor, heard these things, Heard, if your Bible has them in italics, those, those words were put in these things to give a, a better enhancement to your understanding. But when the king of Hazor heard that he sent for these kings, heard what? What did he hear? It says, when Jabin, king of Hazor, heard these things, it stirred him up so much that he gathered together all these kings, these several kings. I ain't going to throw another joke at you. <laughs> what he heard was the stories, the, 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 the legendary stories. Think about it. If you look at Jericho, if you look at, at the, 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 the tribe of the country or, or the um, state of Ai, they, they all got together their army and decided to come against Israel for one purpose. You know, to, 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 to kill them so they, so they wouldn't be killed. Why? Why were they so threatened? Think about it. All the way from, from Jericho, it says they heard the stories of what had happened in Jericho had passed down to the next camp which, was, which uh, um, um, Joshua was hit. After Joshua tackled and destroyed that camp, those stories, they travel on. Because see, see, he's on a campaign. He's marching northwards. He finishes his southwards uh, campaign of, of war and bloodshed. Let's call it what it is. And, and he continues on. And the previous town, and one could say, well, how, how did they get these messages? Well, whatever the form of um, um, traveling, uh, transportation of, 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 of uh, messages it was, whether people, nine times out of ten, people travel. They travel from, from this country to that country, and they would bring these stories and, and, and this, the history of what had happened. Maybe at that time, they say, that was, um, they say carrier pigeons, the homing pigeons, they, they were in, in practice more than 3,000 3, 3, years ago. So maybe they used the carrier pigeons for, for messages. See, they didn't have a telegraph or, or, or anything like that. Um, um, Maybe they had something similar to the Pony Express, you know, because they did have horses. But they, when they heard these things, they started to tremble. And think about what they heard. Think about what they heard. They heard stories like, like Jericho, where, and they, they would call it the God of Israel. That's what it was called. I don't think they knew his name, but they would say the God of Israel. The God of Israel, they, he gave them the power to walk around a walled city, seven days, shout, and miraculously the walls filled up. Now if that ain't a story that's going to travel or gonna, somebody going to tell because it killed thousands of people. Then they, they ran them out of the city and, and, and they ran them out of the city which was the poor. They, they killed them and everything. Then you think about the Moabites, the Amorites. The Amorites were killed by God stopping the sun from shining. I mean, stopping the uh, uh, sun from going down, keeping the heat on until they defeated their enemy. Raining down hailstones from heaven that killed, the scripture said, more than what them were slain by the blade. Now, when these stories got back, <laughs> it made them, that's, that's the way them say, from what we heard, this is what we heard. And so they got together. It says, he is, Jabin was the king of, of Hazor, and, and he heard these things. He was the king of, 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 of Hazor. Hazor had a, a cumulative amount of kings within his territory. It was, it was a big area. They didn't all get along. You know, 
But they, they had their own individual, I guess, rules, so to speak. And he was somewhat like um, the, 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 the in charge of them all. And he got them all together for this purpose. He said, we have to do something. And he describes the areas they came from, from the north and the mountains and the plains and the south and Shimmeron and the lowlands and the heights, Dor in the west to the Canaanites in the east and the west. Understand. This word Canaanite, because it says, and the Canaanites, they were all Canaanites. Just to clarify things, because I got a little twisted on this myself uh, in reading this um, a while back. But until I studied it, when you look at, when you look at um, Canaan, the land of Canaan, you want to look at it on the map as, as a volume. You want to look at it as a country. It's a country. United States. United States, but the United States also has Michigan, Illinois, Can uh, not Canada, uh, um, um, Saginaw. It has states and cities within. But that's how you picture that. So this would be this would be the whole scope would be Canaan, and every individual in there they were part of this culture. They were Canaanites, whether they were Hivites, uh, 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 Amorites, or uh, 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 Hittites. So that gives you a better understanding when they mention and they change the scope and you, you think they talk about another group, but no, they're all Canaanites. And the purpose, once again, the purpose why, why Joshua was sent to clean this land out, because this, clan, this land was so entrenched in sin, historically, for so long, he talked about it back in Deuteronomy, so long it was so entrenched, these, their culture, didn't know nothing about God. And, and their, sin, their sins increased immensely. They were known for uh, child uh, um, killing, child slaughter, child sacrifice, um, um, homosexuality, bestiality, um, um, uh, sins against his little children. Uh, um, all that stuff was rooted in them so deep and one would say, well, don't we serve a forgiving God? Don't we, don't we serve a God who, who forgives? Yes, he does, he does, but God has a limit. Scripture says, at one point, Scripture said, at one time God winked. He, he, he allowed a certain level or a certain point. He said, winked at one time. But in other words, he, he gets to his point. And you would say, well, well why does he give, a, give them more time? He gave them so much time. And their sins did not only uh, 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 remain, they increased. It got more intense. And it was so entrenched in its culture, it was like cancer. When something is malignant, you can't cut half of it off. You can't take a, a, a what you see off. With my nine times of ten, when they cut, they have to cut a little extra around it because it 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 it, it it's subject to metastasize, to increase, to grow, to latch on to something else. And a lot of times, you see about people say, "What well, they say? They go into remission, or or they, they fall back into it because they they didn't see it off. They were a cancer." And the stuff that they, they delved into, they didn't know God, didn't want to know God. God had, the scripture talks about hardening a heart. God had hardened their hearts. And people look at that, I used to look at that as a point of saying, oh, God made them hate, made them not want to change. No, that's not what it means. It was like when Pharaoh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and, 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 and went after Moses after he had allowed them to leave. Let my people go. He allowed them to leave. And then the scripture says God hardened his heart. No, no, no. His, his depth of hatred for losing all he had, his workers and everything, his income, his taxes and everything, doubled back on him. He said, no, no I, I can't. I, I, I got to go after these. I saw the movie and I, you know, that's dark dialogue they put in there. In the movie, the, the wife said, how, how can you allow Moses to come back and, and, and riches, you don't even have soldiers, or you don't even have people to, to mind your fields. You know, I, I don't know about all that. But it, it struck him in his heart. He said, look, Mama, Mama, we, we gonna we gonna wreck something. We coming down, we gonna, we gonna, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. God said, what God does is, God allows you to follow the desires of your heart. Think about it, think about it in Revelation. In Revelation, a picture of, of, of um, God having Satan on a chain. Chain. Pit bull. Not to say it's a pit bull. Pit bull. Pit bull. You see how these kids walk them in the street. They keep them so long. 
It's like a, it's like a vibrato thing, you know, to keep so long walking like this, you know, like this. Let people say, "I'm bad, my dog," and it let the dog get almost close up to you like that, like just in order to say, "Like I, I'm in control. I'm in control like that." And holds him like that. Think of, of, of that's how Satan is. That's how God allows Satan to work. He gives him so much room. He allows him so much. In, in Revelation, it says he's going to loosen that chain so it goes a little bit further. Talking about the tribulation, talking about when things are gone and, 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 and all of us who are saved are out of the world. And that's when literally all hell is going to break loose. You don't want to be there. And I know none of us are going to be there. But we want to talk to our loved ones so they, they don't we need to tell the story so they don't want to. But it says he hardened his heart. He gave him over to his love, who is to his desire. So the minute he made the, the understanding in his brain to say, well, look, look, no, 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 I can't, I can't deal with this no more. I'm going after him. I'm gonna get my stuff back. Get my kingdom back. God said, okay, okay, okay. I gave you an opportunity to change. He gave the Canaanites the opportunity to change. He gave them years. He gave them centuries to change. They never did. Their, their sin got deeper and deeper and so entrenched, it couldn't be cut out. They had to be cut out. What's that verse? Also, this this town they had was it was well fortified. It was pretty much something like um, um, Jericho. They had engulfed uh, um, valleys around the, so people couldn't batter their ram. So they, they, were, they were well equipped. But when they heard about Israel, they said, we got to get some numbers. We done heard what happened in Jericho. We done heard what happened in Ai. You know, and no doubt history tells about the, the, the first greatest battle. When he released it, when he opened up, look, when he opened the Red Sea, me and, and Pastor Elon, who was um, Minister Elon at that time, who was a pastor, he, uh, we used to have conversations at work, and we'd be talking about something. Now, we didn't sit around all day just talk church. You know, we we don't, don't, don't think we were super righteous like that. We, we carried on our work and everything, and then when, when we get together, sometimes we, it always ends up like we were talking about something. I was telling him I was reading King, I was reading. King of King, the King, uh, Book of Kings, and David, and stuff like that, and Samson. We was talking, so we got to talking about um, the, the uh, uh, when Moses opened up the Red Sea, and we said, "How we couldn't phantom how after someone had seen that, you know, and, and, and to see something like that is to see God." Let me put it like that. To see God and not change. So something, something is wrong, but that's that sin nature. That, that's the power of sin that, that you know, makes you stubborn. And, and when you stay in that stubborn, that's when God says, I'm, I'm going to allow you so much time, but you know, you better wake up. And here, here, the more you stay, it's like a soup. It'll stew. And, and you'll become more of a part of it'll become a part of you. And we, we said, how could anybody see all that water? Be freed after 400 years of bondage. Walk across, I mean, miracle after miracle. Walk across on dry land. I mean, they had to, they had to be scared, but they were more scared of, of those, uh, those soldiers coming after them in, in, in the chariot. But to walk across that, every, it looked like everyone, everyone, even somebody who was pregnant had a baby. That baby in that stuff should have said, oh, I, I, I trust, I believe in God now. You know, oh, I, I ain't, I ain't going to turn from his side. I mean, think about it. They had heard of all this and still they didn't want to change because their hearts were hardened. Okay. Yes, sir. Wasn't that because they, they were captured by the Egyptians for 400 years, so they started worship, worshiping the same idols that the Egyptians idols worship. Yeah, I did That was part of it, right? Because they, well, that's why their hearts didn't change over to God right away. They was always complaining. And, even though they went after they got through the Red Sea, they were still complaining. Right. Because they had worshipped idols for over 400 years. Right. So that's I mean, what I mean, what, 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 what's the question? So the question is, you said that their hearts were hardened because of the idols that they worshipped for those 400 years, or they didn't know? The, the Canaanites? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the Israelites when they went through the, went through the Red Sea. Okay. You said they went through the Red Sea on dry land. Right. 
because Moses told them, come on, we're going to take it. And they went on to the Red Sea. They said, okay, we're going to take it. Okay, now their hearts were hard. They, they were hard? No, no, they, they brought them up. I mean, they sinned and they fell down, but, but so, some were, but, but the, the majority of them, no. They, they, they felt and dealt with the miracle, but. The sin nature. Right, right. The sin nature is going to be there. It's in us regardless. Right, and, and some are going to adhere to and not deal to deal with. Others are going to, going to say, "Well, look, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do better. I'm going to try and do better." And that's all they can do is try because you fall sometimes. But for someone to to continue, when you're talking about continuing, it's, it's like the term walking. He, he's walking. He's walking and sin. That means it's a continuum. He's doing this. That means willfully sin. Right. And to continue in it, knowing that it's wrong. Right. That's, that's where the problem comes in. And, and that's where it's done. And that's where and how it starts to breed. Like homosexuality. A lot of them so, 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 you know that. So we're talking about Joshua taking these people who are hearts hard, 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 hard and wiping them out because God said, I want to destroy everything that they did. You said, you said talking about taking God's people. Yeah, no, no, God, they're taking, taking the Israelites. Okay. And destroying all those people that using used, them, right? In the Canaan land, right? Because this land was supposed to be promised to right. those people that he opened the Red Sea up for, right? Right. Okay. So Israel. Okay. Now the heart, the the heart and heart you were talking about were the people that they, the Canaanites people. That's what you're talking about. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. I got. I, I feel something. Yeah. You know, the Canaanites. Canaanites. Now that's not to say that that we don't hard down hard. The same thing goes on with us today. That's right. Now, now, that's right. understand, understand. You have to look at degrees of hardening. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we all stand and fall short of the glory of God. We all mess up. We but we have a God who we can ask for forgiveness. We all have issues. And we, and we can turn around. It, 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 what they say is like smoking. You know, if you stop every day, you know, you, you're going to get better. If you stop every other day, the minute you stop, the minute you stop smoking, it's so detrimental. The minute you stop smoking, you start to heal. That's how bad it is. Sucking in on carbon dioxide. That's how bad it is. But if you continue in it, and that's all we can do is, is, is to keep walking forward, to, to try and stay in, in, in his favor, in his ways. And he said, you can do it. And when people say they can't, well, they ain't, they ain't prayed long, long enough. They ain't stayed long enough. And like, like the pastor say, some people leave out of here who are saved. But God say, I will destroy your body before I well, take your soul. Right, right. So, I mean, we all fall. But these people, it was entrenched. It was entrenched. They, they had rituals of child sacrifice. You know, uh, uh, homosexuality was a thing. Bestiality, all these things that we do today, that's where they come from. And it was to the nth degree. And, and, and God didn't want any trace of them. You see, this, this is the whole issue. He said, we are a purified holy people. <coughs> when we plant this seed in this land, it's going to be pure, it's going to be righteous. I don't want no taint of, I don't want no, no sprinkling of a seed of, of Canaanitism, if that's the word, to spring up so somebody can plant it and, and, and this seed burst in them. Yeah, people are going to sin, but he's trying to wipe this stuff out from his core. Why? Because he, he, his root people. Any questions? More questions? Yeah, because, I mean, even like you was talking about, everything you talk about, like back then, as far as BC, I think, all those things I hear now. So even though wiping them out, it never stops because no. we are, we have a sin nature. Right. It's in our flesh. And Satan brings a lot of this stuff in. Like, for example, like I have learned through my issue, everybody has an issue, but everybody's issue is different. Okay. You know, some people struggle with different right. things. Right, and, and different levels. And, 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 and different levels. Right. So, when I, so when I struggle with this, somebody else has an issue, it's just not with that. Right. Like, even though I don't do that right. anymore, right. I've been delivered of that, right. I still have issues now with something else. Right. It's just not the drugs anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand and I identify. Right. And uh, yeah. It's like it's like um, not smoking is a sin. It's a sin. It's, 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 it's harmful to the body. But but, but your your Smoke. thing might like, you might you know cigarettes you can't put them down or you you it's, on and on. I, it's, I, it's, I might not. I, it's the nicotine. It's addiction. No, I'm not only this, but I'm just saying I ain't got no inkling. You can play cigarettes all in my house. I ain't even think think from a monetary point of view. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do that. Well, I can sell it. I can make some money. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Everybody has their own baggage. Right. Everybody, I don't want to say have their own sin, but everybody has something that's eating at them. Yeah. That's why we come here. 
you know, and nobody can say, well, I don't have to go to church because, you know, I'm, I'm straight or no, 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 we have no to go. no one that can say they don't have no issue. Exactly. It's not one. Exactly. Exactly. When they you have, do say they're alive. And when you have churches who, who build a foundation on that, oh, we are, we are, we are the straight and narrow church and, and we are this and we are that, you know, I, like, that's the I run from. You know, because this is a hospital. Hospital won't, they don't carry well, people. <laughs> you don't go to the hospital and say, okay, okay, how you doing? You fine? Okay, temperature, everything is fine. It should be just stay there, stay at rest, stay as long as you want. No, they're going to send you home. Right. And I, I, there's a scripture, I don't know where it's at, but I remember reading it when I was in the shelter. It said, God didn't come for the saved. He came for the unsaved. That's right. For the sinner. He died for the sinner. That's right. That's right. And, 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 and watch this, and watch this. Uh, who, let me see. Let's, let's see if we can find who the sinner is. All of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus came for all of us. And, and if you, you break it down in, in terms of a word to, to play on the word, he came to save the world. The world. The world, literally, the world. When you the speak world. of the world, when, when Christian people speak of the world, we speak of the unsaved. Okay, although we're saved now. So he came and is coming for everybody. <coughs> everybody. No one will escape. No, no, no. He just wants you to, to get it straight, to get your understanding straight. <laughs> Any more questions on that? And, and I, I stated this earlier, um, um, these kings, they all got together to do battle. And, and watch this, they were, they were all from this community, this, 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 this area <coughs> from which uh, um, Jabir was, was he, he was ruler over the, the rest of the kings. You know, maybe he was head, had the biggest kingdom, I don't know. But these kids, they didn't get along. <laughs> you know, they, they had their own jurisdiction, their own little authority of their cities and everything. Didn't have to buy by nobody else, but I guess he had... You know, in every monarchy, everybody there's always a, a, a top oh, echelon. Right. right, right. Even if they didn't get right. And it's funny because all of these kings, <coughs> Simon, uh, Ashvat, Mata, and, and, and the king of Jabab, they were independent. They didn't get along. Only thing that brought them together was one purpose. And that was to to defend himself, to attack, I won't say defend himself, because they were, I think it was only two that, that outwardly went out and attacked uh, uh, Israel. They, 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 they led the campaign. They, uh, uh, um, they wanted to do damage. As, as far as everyone else, Israel came upon them. The only thing that brought them together was the fact that we, we have one common purpose, that's to defeat Israel. To kill them because they're coming in, in numbers. And they got together. They got together so many. Somebody keep abreast of the time for me. What time is it? What time is it? Five after. Five after? Wow. And, and they got together. And they, they, they went some of anywhere. And this is where the lands and, and the, the areas came in. Came in at. He said he sent for the kings from Madden, from the kings of Shamron, the kings of Ashman. They recruited them to fight for the king. And they came from some of everywhere. He searched high and low. He went to the plains, the lowlands. He went to, to the hills. He went to the mountains. He went to the low. He went to the far, far, they say the forest uh, part of Palestine, to the north, gathering people. He gathered in order to beat or to fight against, and he had to be uh, terribly threatened by Israel. He gathered together. Who was it? 300,000 soldiers. 30, what is it? 20 foot soldiers. And no, 10 foot soldiers, 10,000 foot soldiers. And 20,000 chariots. They got together some of any and everybody they could. So they had to understand that Israel was a threat. So this goes back to, to, to the original, to the beginning part. They had to understand that, that what they had heard was not a lie. The power of, of what God could do by what he did in, 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 in uh, um, Jericho at, at Ai and, and how he, he held down uh, uh, um, um, hailstones and, and how he caused the sun to stop. They got all these numbers together because they had to know and understand that this must be real. Amen. This speaks to the hardening of a heart. You see what a hard heart will do? A hard heart will, 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 will boost your pride and make you think you're God. Just like Satan did. I'm going to build my temple. <laughs> That's what Lucifer said. I'm going to build my temple over 
Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna shut it down right now. We're gonna take it. Any questions? Any questions before we invite the uh the youth in? <coughs> we'll pick this up next Sunday. And right now we're gonna have our pastor and the youth.